Hi there, and welcome to this series of Espresso tutorials. We're going to be looking at the development of a snake racing game, which is actually based on an earlier game that I made a few years ago. However, in that version, there were only two snakes as opposed to five. They'd race each other across the canyon, and the winner of the two would be declared. And if there was a draw, that would be declared too. In this version of the game, I've added another three snakes, partly because I wanted to make the game more interesting, but also because I wanted a bigger challenge. But as with the earlier version, I initially thought that I'd just have the five snakes race across the track, and then when they came to the end I'd just declare who the winner was. Well, that's as far as I thought I'd take it at first, but over the course of time it got a lot more interesting than that, and considerably more involved. I have animated text that displays the positions of each snake, so first, second, third, fourth, fifth. I've also got a scoreboard which tracks the best of ten rounds, or slithers as I choose to call the races, and at the end of the 10 rounds, it will display the result, depending on what that may be. And there's actually 31 different possible outcomes here, because obviously any one of the snakes can be the winner. But there's also another 26 possibilities for draw scenarios, because two snakes can draw, any three snakes can draw, any four snakes can draw, or indeed, they can all draw, giving us an absolute slither. So all of that is taken care of by the scoreboard. Finally, I decided to add some sound effects just to make it a little bit more fun. And they're off. So over the course of the tutorials, we're going to develop this from the ground up to the finished product. With regard to Espresso, we're going to use some advanced techniques with the range mapper. We'll learn to generate and store random numbers. We'll also make extensive use of Boolean operations and logic gates, and although I realise this looks horrendously complicated, it's actually really quite simple. It's just that there's a lot to it. I think you're going to enjoy it. I know I did. I had a lot of fun making this. But anyway, without further ado, let's get on with it and take a look at our first tutorial. <laughs> 